By now you may have heard of the game called Fold It and how its players helped solve the crystal structure of a protein that had remained unsolved for years. The findings were recently described in a prestigious journal and in the pop popular press. Today I'll explain what Fold It is and show you how to get started using it. Fold It is a scientific project aimed at solving the protein folding problem. Predicting the way that proteins fold is a very important problem key to many areas of biology and medicine. Predicting how proteins fold is also computationally very difficult due to the large numbers of possible solutions that need to be tried. Foldit's unique insight is that humans will try solutions that computers may not consider. By creating a game around the protein folding problem, Foldit is able to combine protein folding solutions from human players around the world. When you play Fold It, you're helping to solve an unsolved protein folding problem. Fold It runs on, on a cross-platform client available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. It can be downloaded from the Fold It homepage. After downloading, extract the file if necessary and run the program. The game may need to download some updates at this point. After a few seconds, you'll see the main start screen. Click Start to begin. Now click Create Account, fill in the form, and then click Create. I've already created an account, so I'll just use that information to log in. Foldit begins by giving you a series of training missions to complete. Each training mission begins with some information in a speech bubble. It's helpful to read this information first. My goal on this level is to prevent the two side chains from touching. This is called a clash in Foldit and is represented by the spiky red graphic. I can zoom in or out of the scene with the mouse wheel. I can also rotate the scene by clicking on the background and dragging. After looking at the scene from a few angles, it's clear that I need to move one side chain away from the other. I do this by clicking on it and dragging. The next challenge involves clearing the clash caused by two side chains. One of the powerful things about Foldit is its suite of automated tools. This level introduces the shake tool, which will rotate side chains around a stationary uh, backbone automatically. When I see that my score, given at the top in blue, is no longer increasing, I press the stop button. That clears, that clears this level. The goal of the next challenge is to eliminate the clash in the center by pulling one end of the chain away from the other. In this challenge, I'm trying to reduce the empty space between the two ends of the protein. The space is represented by the glowing red sphere. I can solve the puzzle by trying to move the two ends of the backbone together like this. If I get into trouble, I can reset the puzzle and try again. Let's try the other end. I'm going to use the blue score bar at the top of the screen to help me decide if I've reached the goal. Looks like that worked. The training levels go on to increase in complexity. Here's a more advanced training level in which I learned that hydrogen bonding can be a powerful way to hold a protein together. Foldit's approach to the protein folding problem is remarkable. It manages to do something useful and be a pretty fun game at the same time. Previous experience with chemistry or structural biology isn't needed at all. I could see Foldit being used and understood by both PhD structural biologists and sixth graders alike. If you get a chance, I can highly recommend checking out Foldit.